Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm here in the hair salon parking lot at Salon Shades where I get my hair done in Nashville and I'm getting my extensions back in today. This is the longest I've gone without my hair extensions. I've been wearing my Luxie hair extension like clip-ins in and out and they've like saved my life. I feel like that's the only reason I've been able to go this long without my hair extensions. Um, my hair I feel like has gotten longer and healthier but it's still not exactly where I want it to be so I'm gonna get my extensions put back in for the like fall and winter time. I always take them out in the summer because like the beach and stuff but I'm really excited to have them like permanently back Back in. I'm just gonna do one row, a really thin row, um, very natural looking. I'm gonna keep my hair color natural so I feel like my hair will keep growing and being healthy. I feel like what really damaged my hair was the bleaching. Anyways, I'm getting my hair extensions back in and I'm really excited about I'm about to walk into my appointment. It starts at 11, it's 10.50, but I wanted to share because I made this little electrolyte drink and I've been obsessed with these Peak BT Fountain Beauty Electrolyte Packets. Um, you guys know I've been like obsessed with putting electrolytes and things like that into my water and this is one of my favorite brands. I love Love Peak. They have like the best products. I've been working with them for a while now here on my channel so I want to thank them for sponsoring this portion of the video. Specifically wanted to talk about the BT Fountain Electrolyte Packets. Um, I feel like I've been struggling with dehydrated skin and I feel like right now, especially with the colder months kicking in, my skin has been really really dry and this helps a ton. It really helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles, increase skin elasticity and skin's ability to stretch and bounce back which who doesn't love and it also plumps and hydrates the skin. Obviously there are so many different packets of electrolytes and things like that out on the market. I feel like what stands out about this one is it actually is benefiting your skin. So this one contains minerals like magnesium and potassium to help the body absorb water more effectively. Also contains no added sugar, preservatives, or artificial ingredients. I took a little video of me making this drink. I brought it in this little glass container to bring in with me to the salon. I love how it comes in the pre-portion packets. I feel like I'm more likely to grab it and like take it out the door, take it when I'm traveling, things like that because it's just like easy to put into your water. It's already self-measured for you which I really love and I have a discount code for you guys it's 15% off plus you will get a rechargeable frother the frother is so nice I'll put the link here on the screen and I'll also link it down below but I wanted to thank Peak for working with me in today's video I love the brand all their products are insanely good really clean good high quality ingredients which I love and the taste of this is actually like so good and really refreshing I feel like some packets are like hard for me to get down which obviously makes you not want to drink them daily but this one has a really good flavor so check it out I will put again the link here for you guys guys and I'll link it down below in the description but I just wanted to share because I've been obsessed with adding little things here and there to my water and this is one of my favorites who doesn't love a drink that's benefiting their skin of course my camera is flashing I thought I charged it last night so I'm gonna try to film as much as I can of my hair we're gonna go in get my extensions put back in I'm so excited and then we will start the day. I have a big day of shooting a campaign for a company I'm really excited for. So I have to head home and do that. My mom's still in town. So she's going to help me with that. It's been a full day since I uh, vlogged last about my hair. I didn't even show you guys my hair yet. But here's my hair extensions in. Mom and Danny are in the car. We just shot a ton of photos for an exciting campaign coming up. Um, we shot yesterday and then today. So I'm excited with how those turned out. I need to get home and get those edited and submitted but I just wanted to show you guys my hair. I got a row of extensions in. Didn't really add much length. Like this is my natural hair and the extension just goes down to here. I wanted to keep the extension hair kind of long because when my hair starts to grow, I didn't want to have to like automatically get new hair. Um, but we're all done. Danny's pooped from the day. Okay. We're going to run to Target. Um, we came to the cutest little place. It's called Loveless Cafe. I didn't vlog any because I feel like when I'm trying to shoot Instagram stuff and then also vlog and then TikTok, it's just like a bunch of stuff. Um, but it's a really cute cafe. If you guys live in Nashville, it's a little bit like outside the city, but the address is still Nashville. Um, and there's a really fun little venue. This is where the... Um, my mom and I went to a Tribe Kelly venue or event the other day and this is where it was at and they have like a little cafe. Apparently their biscuits are really good here. We didn't eat because we were just like taking photos and stuff but I just wanted to say hi. I'm going to go home, edit. Well, we're going to stop at Target, go home, edit all that stuff. I have like some stuff to do at the house and then we're going to make dinner and stuff. So we're back to vlogging. I just wanted to get like the Instagram stuff out of the way but I also wanted to show you my hair. I see Megan at Salon Shade. I actually didn't even touch the root color. We just, she just like color matched my extension hair to my natural hair color and I feel like it looks very natural really still like that light blonde for like what I like um, but still like a pretty new brownish color for fall so 
if you guys live in Nashville, go check out Salon Shade and ask for Megan. She's literally the best. Nighttime Target run. <laughs> what are you shopping for? You should avoid the mask. <laughs> Alright, nighttime Target run for a few things for the house. And then also I'm gonna make Dylan a boo basket. <laughs> so we're getting stuff for that. Okay, I need to take my jacket. Getting serious here in Target. They have the Christmas. Look, imagine these on Carson. We have to get them. What pair would you pick? Oh look, we could get these for Winnie and Rue. Oh yeah, do it. <laughs> I don't think Rue would fit into any of these. Not even the XL. This is so oh, it's a hat. It is a hat. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, to go Stop stop it. Head. Can you see it on Winnie? <laughs> Literally imagine. Look at this. On the dogs. The ears. That's so cute. If you have a I small love. dog, that's cute. Look, oh look, you can put on a cat this too. Like a I want to get this. Okay, so that you want that size. You want a medium. Is this a large? No, no, it's not a middle. Small. That's a middle. Oh, that's a medium. This is so cute. And then this. Look at this set. It looks like it's pajamas. My mom found it. But and it's actually. This is a medium. Yeah, you think that's gonna be long enough? Yeah, you can just slip them on. No, I'll just return it if they don't there's fit. There's no way you're gonna get a large. Target does good returns. Like, look it up. Well, there's just no way. Yeah, large is too big. This is so cute. I love the color. And then your jacket with it over there. But I mean, look at that. Nice find, so mom. Nice find. Oh, I buy it. Daddy, we're not buying the Christmas. <laughs> Put away the Christmas <laughs> jammies. Yeah, what's this brand called? Well, it's like a new. Look at Future Collective. That's what I'm saying. It's like a. Oh yeah, cute. I yeah, I do like this. Look, they have an. This is giving. What's that movie where she wears the yellow silk dress? How to lose a guy in ten days? I don't know. Is that the movie? But how cute is this? The yellow, I really like. It was fun, man. Where did you find that? Oh no. <laughs> See, flip it. You know what he's saying? He comes around the corner. He comes around the corner, and goes, Rachel, I'm ready, and he has this. What is that? Swiffer mop? Yeah, no, no, pop. No, I. No, that's a mip rolling it. mop. I know, mip it. Oh, the Olympics? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they do. Curling. <laughs> at the little place we were at today, I got a pumpkin butter. So I'm going to make like pumpkin butter chocolate chip cookies. So I need dark brown sugar. And then I also need, I need chocolate chips. Are they over here? They're all right here. Okay, I need semi-sweet. semi-sweet chocolate chips, and then dark chocolate. Good morning, guys. I'm getting ready for a brunch that Julia Havens is hosting with Windsor. I'm really excited. I am running late. It starts in 20 minutes, and I'm, like, not doing well. I have whitening strips, and I'm about to take them out. I'm obsessed with this whitening brand. I feel like these are the only things that actually work. So I have these and I get them off Amazon, I can link them. Every other night I'll use the toothpaste. I like the Crest Whitening toothpaste like the best, but I'll go back and forth with this one too. So I will link these for you guys. Julia had a collection with Windsor come out and so she's like hosting and a bunch of Nashville gals will be there. Excited to see people and meet ill. I've been loving that my hair extensions are back in. I feel like myself again. And I love the length and the color. Um, I'm just gonna like freshen up the curls. Normally not someone that runs late. So I always feel flustered when I am running late, but I think these earrings could be pretty. I'm wearing like a green trench coat from Windsor and then I'm gonna wear like this little maxi dress underneath it. Just touched up all my curls. I'm gonna use this texture spray from Orbe. I just picked up a new one of these at the salon and this is the best texture. <laughs> Whenever I'm vlogging, I talk and I spray this, it always gets in my mouth. Okay, everything's done. I'm gonna put on some of this Dibs Clear Gloss. My skin is not skinning, but I'm just gonna ignore that. I have on this dress, which I feel like does nothing for your body when it's not styled, but it's this really cute cozy dress that I got from, where's this from? Zara, I got this in Europe. It literally feels like a sweatshirt, like it's so comfy. I'm gonna do these black Caperna boots. These are like my go-to boot, I wear them literally every single day. This is the jacket that I picked out. 
that they sent over. I really love the color and I feel like I love a trench for fall. We'll get this off of their website and link it. It's a really good price too and the quality is nice. I really need a new perfume. Comment some perfumes you guys are like, oh no, I just sprayed that right on the thing. What an idiot. Comment some perfumes you guys like because this is my absolute favorite, but I just ran out so I need to get a new bottle, but I'm kind of waiting for the Black Friday sales because they always have this on sale. But let me know some other ones that you guys love because I need some new ones. Right? Not a Taylor, ton. Taylor, pull pull up your video. I send it to you. Here, I got it. I got an oven mitt on. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Do you guys know a TikTok hack? If you hold this side, it speeds up the video. I don't have it. Oh, I, I didn't know that either until about a week ago. Dude, that's too much. I'm no, it's kidding. Too <laughs> I'm shut kidding. up. Kidding. <laughs> <gasps> Back on before you knock it over. I mean, geez Louise. Can everybody hop off? You know, nice, Cal. Calm down. You're like splashing it everywhere. Dylan's a few beards and he's really just commentating, not helping. Dylan, rip me some more napkins. Please, please. It smells like so. Got homemade, what is this? Pa uh, chocolate chip peanut butter. It's peanut butter cookies. Peanut butter chocolate, chocolate flavor. Oh, Reese, that's what? That's sun just beamed in my eye. My retina is damaged. <laughs> you guys, I wanted to show you the main light. If you keep going straight, that's where my childhood neighborhood was. And then if you go that way, that's where Dylan's childhood neighborhood was. And if you go this way, we'll show you when we get over there. But that's where the middle school and the high school is. And, and elementary. elementary school. But we, none of us went that to that elementary, uh -huh. did we? Yeah. We've got Taylor in the car, Cass in the car, Kel in the sorry. car. Wait, <laughs> we'll link it. I can vouch. Oh wait, wrong you way. wear it? I like that. <laughs> I like that. I'll block the sun. We're going to. No, it's literally. The, can you see how bright it is shining Here. on my face? <laughs> I'm Kel, good, thank you. Dylan, wear them. We're going to the homecoming game of the high school that we all attended, and Brayden, the last sibling of the group, his, his homecoming night. Up oh, sliding bridge. <laughs> I know you're about to hit the car. It is really golden hour. So this is the pasture. You want to roll the window down? Oh uh, sure. This looks so pretty right now. Okay, so this is the road, and then it goes the middle school, which I went to, and then the elementary school back here, which I didn't go to because this wasn't built yet. And then you've got the grand entrance to the high school. <laughs> All right, mom said we're going right. <gasps> this is the opposing high. team. Y'all are going down. Mm.
morning. It's currently Sunday. If you guys are watching this on the day that I'm uploading it, it's current day. So happy Sunday. I hope everyone had a great weekend. We had the best time at home. I brought my vlog camera. I didn't vlog a ton, um, but I took a few little clips here and there. It was Dylan's youngest brother's um, homecoming game. So we went to the game, hung out with family. It was just like really nice. I got to see Sarah Carson and then we saw Dylan's whole side of the family, which was really, really nice. Now we're back, it's Sunday and we are relaxing. I just did like a full hair wash, shower, shave, like all of that. I feel like my hair looks so dark, <laughs> it looks so pale. Pajamas on and I made some homemade chicken noodle soup. I'm so excited about it, I've been craving it all day. Clean this off. I was letting the soup simmer. I'm gonna go downstairs and have dinner with Dylan. It is 5.30. And then I want to get this video edited and uploaded for you guys so it goes up tonight. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to say hi. I feel like I haven't really spoken to the vlog. Doing the Zo Skin Health, one of my favorite skincare brands, clearing complexion mask. I'm going to leave it on for like 10 to 15 minutes while I'm eating, but I thought I would share. I got this at Elamar, who does all my facials. And I kind of forgot about it for a while, but I am having some breakouts, so I thought I would try this out. Oh, it's so good. You're gonna love this bread. I'm inhaling it. To make sure that the air is clean. I ordered the Laneige Peppermint lipstick or lip gloss. I need to take this face mask off, but it was sold out in my Sephora, so I ordered them on Amazon because Dylan's brother's girlfriend, or fiance Taylor, had this at the football game this weekend, and I was obsessed i'm normally a lineage pot like i like their pot better but this tube one it is so good i bought two because i thought i would put one in my nightstand in bed and then put this one in my purse so these are literally insane i'll link them they're fully in stock on amazon right now and i feel like they're gonna sell out for the holidays and they just feel so good they almost i love a lip uh like a chapstick or gloss that almost feels like it's not burning your lips, but like that peppermint like refreshing feeling, if that makes any sense. And this is like the perfect one. I also got a package from Riot Swim. They sent over some swimsuits. I've never tried this swim brand, but I always love trying out new swimwear. I got this red one piece, which I thought could be cute for like holiday in case we go somewhere tropical. I really want to do a tropical trip in January. So we will see. But how stunning is this? one piece i got size medium in their stuff and it feels like buttery soft really cute and i really loved their one pieces they were pretty unique i loved this black one and then it has these little rings little cheeky bottom so it's still kind of like cute and sexy as a swimsuit but not too revealing you know this one is a pretty deep plunge but if you're more flat chested like me i would say this would be a good option i just blew up my hair with the dyson air up i used the straight attachment and then like the round attachment i don't use like the curling one because i feel like my extension hair doesn't hold the curls that well um and then tomorrow like once i sleep on it and let it kind of like defrizz i will curl it tomorrow i have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning and i'm thinking i feel like i've been so mia on youtube and i feel like a lot of you guys are noticing like where are the vlogs where are the vlogs because i'm normally pretty consistent and really good with like the longer vlogs and keeping up over here. I've just been busy and I'm kind of just taking honestly like a little bit of a break um, and it's been nice. I had my mom and Danny in town for the past two weeks and I was just kind of like laying low. One of the weeks I wasn't feeling very good so we kind of just laid around and then we were home this weekend. So that being said, I really want to get back on the YouTube grind. Like YouTube is my favorite platform and I love it and I love vlogging and documenting memories and sharing things with you guys and I'm like mad at myself for not being more consistent with it because I feel like that's very unlike me that I want to do like a fun video this week I'm thinking of doing a week of morning routines I've done it before on my channel and I think that could be fun a lot of you guys really liked it and then maybe like a week of night routines so maybe I can film that this week I want to get like a few more fall vlogs up before um obviously the season changes into Christmas I'm so excited for Christmas um and then actually the end of this week I'm going to be heading to Florida I'm not sure if I'm going to go on Sunday or Friday I'm going to book a flight. I'm not going to drive this time and go down and spend Halloween with my mom and dad at the beach and just get like one last little beach trip in while Dylan's working and it's still the season um, before it gets too cold down there. 
So I'm definitely gonna vlog while I'm in Florida, so that'll be fun. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to like address why I've been so MIA on YouTube. I feel like I'm always posting a video like every other day and I love it, but I've just kind of been taking it slow. I think it's normal and it's obviously just like phases of life that you go through. Like at the end of the day, I am human and I sometimes do need a break or sometimes want to not be on the camera. I haven't been feeling super confident with my skin lately and stuff, but I'm just like tired of that excuse and just like need to get over it. I feel like the more I stress out and worry about my skin, the worse it looks. So I'm just kind of trying to like not think about that. I know you guys don't even care about that and you're just like wanting the long vlogs back. So anyways, that's what we're gonna do starting this week. I'm excited to get back into the YouTube grind. But anyways, I just wanted to say that and say that I've missed talking to you guys and filming videos for you guys. And that I'm thankful for all the new faces and all the old faces. And I'm thankful that you guys keep coming back and watching my videos and supporting my channel. So I love you guys and I am excited to get some more videos out for y'all. But I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm like craving a Honeycrisp apple. Dylan ran when we made the soup, he ran to the store and he bought one for me and I've been having it in the fridge. So it gets nice and cold. So I'm gonna go downstairs, cut that, sit on the couch. I think there's a football game on, turn the fire on. This weekend was a bye weekend, which is why we were actually able to go home. They didn't have a game this weekend. So work, like football heavy work will start back tomorrow. So I'm gonna go enjoy the night with Dylan and get this video up for you guys. Um, also, there's only five weeks left of football, which is literally insane. They have four games left and then they have one more bye week. So I feel like it's always, it feels, if I look at it in the grand scheme of things, it feels like the season is so long, but then I go back and think about it and I'm like, I cannot believe that the season, another season um, is already like kind of coming to an end. It's literally insane. Dylan, you wanna know what I regret so badly? This bowl of candy. Yeah. <laughs> like mom and I bought all this candy at Target, you guys. And I mean, how do you not just come over here and wanna grab some candy? I feel like once I start eating it, I can't stop. I'm not gonna allow myself to have any, but these so good and these are so good